yeah, so I got a couple of questions on how I curled my hair when I have it straight but like curled in some other of my videos. So I did a tutorial on that. It's super duper easy, but some people still want to see it. So that's what I did. Okay. Um, the curling iron I use, I don't even know the name of it. But I'm sure you've all seen one of these. I, I don't even know if it's hot tools or what it is. Yep, don't know the name of it, but it looks like this. So it's just like a spiral wand and the clamp is like a lot shorter. So it mainly focuses on just like curling the hair and yeah, um, I like it. I've had it for several years now. So most of the time when you see my hair curled like this and not just like kind of wavy, this is what I did. Um, I don't use any hairspray just because I don't want the crunchiness. I don't want extra product buildup or anything like that. If I only get this look for one day, I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, when it falls and it's like, you know, wavy and stuff like that, I like that look because it's like, I don't know, it looks effortless. And so that's what I did. It took me like 20 minutes to do it, um, which I don't think is that long for the amount of hair that I have. I could probably go a little bit faster if maybe I wasn't on my phone. Um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Bye. The first thing I'm going to do is just clamp it down, um, starting in the back, almost to the end, but leave out a tiny piece. And then I'm going to roll it up a little bit, and then I'll press the clamp down just to release the tension and pull the hair down until I get all of the hair inside of the clip, if that makes sense. You can see me demonstrating there. I'll roll it all the way up um, to the roots and then wait about five to 10 seconds before I let the curl down. And that's the result. It's pretty bouncy. It doesn't curl like all the way to the root, but I'm not gonna be super picky since I know I have like a lot of hair and that's about as good as it's going to get. But yeah, that's the main thing I do is just separate it into tiny sections. I pull the clamp all the way down to like, I don't know, about an inch of where my hair ends, roll it up a little bit, and then I release the clamp so that I can curl the hair more. That way I'm just not um, frying my ends by keeping them inside the, the clamp like for the entire duration that I'm holding my hair all the way up. And I'm just going to uh, speed it up because I basically use the same technique for all of these curls and there's really no need to do that in real time because we'd be sitting here for like 20 minutes watching me just curl my hair. Um, but yes, if you wanted to like rotate, I guess the direction that you were curling, that would give you even more volume and then you wouldn't have to worry about the curls falling into like one gigantic curl, but I'm not too picky on that. And I'm almost done. It really did not take very long at all, probably 20 minutes. And then when I get to the top here, I use the same thing, do the same thing, except for I pull the, I have the clamp up like even higher since I have like some layers in the front. And then I just fluff all the curls out so they're not like one gigantic curl and I get like a little bit more volume and then I style the front of it the way I want it to. And uh, these are the results. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in a later video. Bye.